Hi everybody, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com and today I want to talk about aerator repair. Uh, aerator systems are very simple uh, in their operation. They have a compressor, an airline, and a diffuser that sits in the pond. We've talked about this many times before. Uh, they generally run very efficiently, very quietly, and very affordably, uh, oftentimes for many years without any trouble. Some of the most common uh, aerator compressors today use a diaphragm basically to create the airflow. And uh, although these are wonderful systems, there is a few things that can basically stop them from working. If you ever are running an aerator and it's worked great for a while and then all of a sudden the, the motor will continue to run but there's no airflow coming out or the air may be somewhat uh, restricted or less than it, it was when you started, there's a good chance, if it's a diaphragm-based system, that the diaphragm component will need to be changed. Fortunately, this is very, very easy and very simple to do. And so in this video, I simply want to show you through example, we'll use a small pond, uh, pond Air 2 system to uh, show you how easy it is to change the diaphragm uh, in one of these aerators. So uh, we'll go ahead and switch over to that, and I'll show you close up how that works. So this is a, a PA2, a Pond Air 2, which is a, a small pond aerator for uh, bodies of water up to about 1,000 gallons. But um, in effect, the same process will apply to any diaphragm-based compressor. So how do you change the diaphragm in here? Well, first of all, manufacturers oftentimes will include diaphragm uh, replacement kits, which you see here. And all you have to do with these particular units, there are four... Uh, screws that hold the top cover on. Uh, these are also usually covered on some of these models by little rubber plugs. So we remove the plug, unscrew uh, these four screws, and then you can basically pop the top cover off. Once you get the cover off, you'll see that the diaphragm component is right here. Now to remove this, you simply undo these three mounting screws the diaphragm assembly will pop straight off. There's uh, connections here to the outflow lines uh, going to the pond, and this is just a rubber, rubber hose that attaches there. You can pull this all off, and you simply replace it with the new one, put the mounting screws back in, cover back on, and the bottom screws in, and you're uh, good to go. Again, uh, sizes may vary on the compressor system that you see with these uh, various units, but the diaphragm assembly will be very similar, and most of these uh, replacement kits that I'm aware of all come with pretty good instructions, which will allow you right on site uh, to make the changes. The other good news about this is, in most cases, these diaphragm components are very inexpensive. Uh, in this case, uh, we're talking about usually under $10, even the larger units are pretty affordable when you compare them to purchasing an entirely new system. So uh, I hope that video helps show you how easy and simple it is to keep your aeration system up and running for years to come. We'll see you again real soon on Pond Algae Solutions. Please.